good morning thursday morning and we are going to sing angels we have heard on high today um some of these chords fall in funny places so if i make funny faces it's because i'm struggling to figure out uh what i did wrong and trying to keep up with karen she was just reminding me <clears> her <throat> aunt phyllis said we always did devotions some days uh it was deeply meaningful some days uh, people were crying and fighting, and the house was a mess, And but when it came time for devotions, we always did devotions. So, um, no matter where you're at today, I hope that, uh, hope that God's Word can bring some healing as well to you. Angels We Have Heard on High, it's hymn number 368. Angels, we have heard on high. Sweetly singing o'er the plains and the mountains in reply, echoing their joyous strains. Gloria in excelsis Deo. angels singing. And there's a lot to sing about as we read Psalm 91. He who dwells in the shelter of the Most High will abide in the shadow of the Almighty. I will say to the Lord, my refuge and my fortress, my God in whom I trust. For he will deliver you from the snare of the fowler and from the deadly pestilence. He will cover you with his pinions and under his wings you will find refuge. His faithfulness is a shield and buckler. You will not fear the terror of the night, nor the arrow that flies by the day, nor the pestilence that stalks in darkness nor the destruction that wastes at noonday. A thousand may fall at your side, 10,000 at your right hand, but it will not come near you. You will only look with your eyes and see the recompense of the wicked. Because you have made the Lord your dwelling place, the Most High who is my refuge, no evil shall be allowed to befall you. No plague come near your tent, for he will command his angels concerning you to guard you in all your ways. On their hands they will bear you up, lest you strike your foot against a stone. You will tread on the lion and the adder. The young lion and the serpent you will trample underfoot. 
Because he holds fast to me in love, I will deliver him. I will protect him because he knows my name. When he calls to me, I will answer him. I will be with him in trouble. I will rescue him and honor him. With long life, I will satisfy him and show him my salvation. So do you feel protected? Uh, I kind of wonder um, where it says here, no evil shall be allowed to befall you. No plague come near your tent. <laughs> well, uh, we've been dealing with a plague, maybe a mild plague by comparison with plagues, but a very real plague that's really plagued us. It's really changed our lives. And we start to begin to maybe a little bit question God's promises and wonder about his word. That the next passage, I think, is probably why, at verse 11, probably why this psalm and, and him were chosen and matched together. Uh, it's the only mention of angels here. He will command his angels concerning you to guard you in all your ways. Do you feel protected? Do you feel like his angels are around you? Everything's going to be okay. Well, you might doubt. You might very well doubt. Satan wanted Jesus to doubt, didn't he? I, I took a photograph. Uh, this was four years ago, I think, when James and I were there, of um, uh, the area around where Jesus went through that temptation. This valley down here, this ravine there, is uh, the Wadi Kelt, and it is the, down there is the road from Jerusalem to Jericho. And uh, behind us, and down the, down the slope, is the Jordan River. But this is the Jordan River, the wilderness of that area. Um, Jesus went out into the wilderness, and he was tempted by Satan. And then in... Uh, um, in the third temptation, when uh, Satan, or is it second temptation? Satan takes Jesus to the pinnacle of the temple and urges him to jump off, and Satan quotes this psalm. For he will command his angels concerning you to guard you in all your ways. On their hands they will bear you up lest you strike your foot against a stone. Jesus did not doubt God's word. He did not doubt the, the word of the psalm. But he knew the rest of the verse where it says, You will tread, you will not strike your, lest you strike your foot against a stone, you will tread on the lion and the adder, the young lion and the serpent, you will trample underfoot. That's the part that Satan didn't quote. That God's purpose for us is to overcome Satan. Or his purpose for us is to overcome uh, sin and, and guilt and the separation from God and to have eternal life. His purpose for us is not just to win battles, um, to escape arrows, uh, that sort of thing. We go through many difficult things in our life and challenges and we may suffer some losses. Uh, it may not always seem like uh, like we're guarded in all our ways and yet what, is, what matters to our Heavenly Father is our eternal salvation. That is far more important than any other thing. And so, whatever we go through, He is guarding and keeping us, His angels particularly protecting us from our enemy. And there was one who crushed Satan. Jesus came, and this psalm really is about, is about Him. That He came in Christmas with the angels and lovely things, but he came to step into a battle at your side and to, to fight with Satan and with death and to defeat them for you. So our trees have little, have little angels on them. Oh, where's the angel? I took my glasses off. There's an angel. No, that's not an angel. There's an angel, and there's an angel, and we have lots of little angels here reminding us of, uh, of what took place that night. But the real angels are not adorable little jewelry, things that we hang on trees. The real angels are really protecting you, really surrounding you, 
keeping you uh, from those things that would pull you from faith. We pray. Heavenly Father, send your angels to us again today. More importantly, because we know that you do and you have promised to guard and protect us. More important than that, Lord, help us to believe and trust that you are protecting us from all things, all real harm, the greatest harm that could come to us, that we would be drawn away from you. Keep us close. And whether it be in sickness or in health, in, in poverty or in wealth, in uh, difficult times or in especially the dangerous good times, Lord, grant that we may remain in your hands and in your heart. In Jesus' name, amen. Now may the Lord bless you and keep you. The Lord make his face to shine upon you and be gracious to you. The Lord look upon you with his favor and give you peace.